Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the CAM connection and how to specify the lift off if needed. We will start with simple mechanism and you can see that I have placed two components as the pin connection. So if I will select the dragger, you can see that it's possible to spin the objects and the objects are not connected. Yes, so for example, if I will select another edge, you can see that is not connected. And what we would like to do that we will create a CAM connection between selected surfaces. You have seen that manual and automatic reference definition for CAM connection I have explained to you in the previous tutorials with definition of the spring also, but over here we would like to specify the lift off. If you are in the mechanism, so simply select application and mechanism and then it's possible to select the CAM feature. For the CAM feature, first of all, you can specify the surfaces or curves and auto select mean then system will select all necessary surfaces altogether. So for us CAM1, it's possible to select the cylindrical surface and for CAM2, we will specify the another surfaces. So you can select all necessary surfaces one by one by control button and then the first CAM connection is definite. But you can see right now that system, if I will finish, the system will align the necessary surfaces. And if I will use the drag right now and I will spin the component, it works fine. But we need to specify lift off because the system has to go outside of the surface and go back here. Yes, yeah, so for the first connection, if I will select edit definition for CAM follower and edit definition over here in the properties tab is the enable lift off. If I will come from OK, we can specify the second CAM and again we can continue with same logic. So first of all, select the auto select for the surfaces as the CAM2, we will specify the surfaces one by one and what we can do is zoom in, zoom out, how you need, and directly you can specify it, enable lift off also. So second cam is ready and continue two times more. So auto select for surfaces and as cam two, again continue with the selection and you will see that if I will come from OK and we will use the enable lift off, it will be go fine. And, it, and last but not least is selection surfaces and as come to, we will specify last set of five surfaces. So OK and in the properties, don't forget to enable lift off. Perfect. Everything is defined. I can regenerate assembly. System will apply the weight and corresponding information. Last but not least is the specification of the servo motor. So you can specify the servo motor of this component. And in the servo motor, what is necessary to do is the spec specify angular velocity, for example. And we will say that we would like to spin this main wheel, for example, 90 degree per second. It will be OK. If I will come from fine, OK, and we will create new analyze feature. And for example, we would like to spin for 15 seconds and frame where will be 30. Why? Because in future we would like to make the visualization. And right now you can see that it's working really well and smoothly. If you will select the playback, the system allow to you to specify the speed so you can see it step by step, one by one. Yeah, so we can wait how the system will move the component. Yeah, I will wait for a while. And if you will see, the system will select objects and move as needed. Yeah, it's really nice spinning, so maybe we can go a little bit faster. Great. If you would like to capture this animation, please select the capture, specify the format, specify the resolution, what you would like to use, specify custom frame rate, for example, 30, as I said, 
and use the render frames and create really nice animation. I hope so that you like this video tutorial. Stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.